Hello and welcome to another video, it's Simon from Eclipse, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some stamping with bleach. We're going to be making three different cards today using the Here's the Scoop stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is super awesome because I'm going to be using some outline images today from this stamp set. It also has some great dessert and ice cream images in it with some awesome sentiments that go along nicely with those images. I'm also going to use just some regular bleach. I have a small container here full of it. You guys use whatever kind of bleach you have, I think anything will work here. So I have a little container of bleach and also just a Tupperware container. This is from Systema. And I have a piece of felt here that I've cut and folded in half. The reason why I'm folding it in half is just so it has the double thickness in there. So that it's extra absorbent and I'm going to fold that and um, kind of shove it into my bin here. So now I'm going to take my bleach and I'm just going to dump it on top of that felt. Um, you're just going to want to keep doing that until it's kind of absorbed all of the bleach here. I'm not sure how much I really put in here or how much you really need. I would just do it until um, the felt looks really wet on top and kind of really saturated inside. Um, and that's when I would kind of stop. I didn't even use this full container of the bleach here. So I'm not really sure exactly how much to put in, but not too much because then your image will look gloppy. So you're going to want to wait about five minutes for this to kind of settle into the felt here and not be all the top. And once you've waited that long, um, then you can start your stamping. So I'm starting out with this ice cream image here, and I'm going to be using a piece of blue cardstock, and I'm going to just stamp it down at the edge. This is super awesome because it starts as kind of a really dark color, um, and then as you guys will see, it just starts turning kind of a white color. Now, it won't go completely white, but um, it will kind of take on a lighter color of your cardstock has. So since this is blue, it will be kind of a light blue color. And you'll see that later when I use different colors of cardstock as well. If you would like the color to be more stark white, you can also use a heat tool to kind of heat set it and make it more of an intense color. So that's another option you have when you're stamping with bleach. Um, so you want to have a really light hand with the outline images that we're using today. Um, because some of these are really detailed, having a light hand really helps and it will help not glop up your images because the bleach is super liquidy inside of that um, foam or felt. Um, it will kind of glop up if you have too hard of a hand on there. And so you want to just make sure you're really light handed when you're stamping these down. So I'm just going to continue moving around my images. I'm starting out with the larger images, and there are some smaller images in the set that I will fill in with later. Um, but you're just going to want to kind of turn around your block. You don't want them to all be facing the same direction. And then just stamp them all down. I also just wanted to mention quickly here that once you guys are done stamping with these images, you're going to want to make sure to clean off your stamps right away and directly after because I don't know if this bleach will ruin your stamps if you leave it on for too long. So you're going to want to make sure to clean it off because some chemicals can eat away your um, photopolymer clear stamps. So you're going to want to make sure that those are nice and cleaned after with some stamp cleaner um, just so that the chemicals cannot get to them really after you're done using the bleach. Also, make sure to wear not really nice clothing in case the bleach can splash. And also, just make sure your, your work surface is protected or just if anything lands on it, just wipe it off. Which is what I've kind of been doing here to make sure that nothing bleaches my um, cutting mat. So now I'm using some light uh, or some of those smaller like squiggle stamps and also like a cherry stamp. I think that's supposed to be like chocolate sauce. And then um, so I'm just kind of using those images to kind of fill in um, any spaces that are open just to kind of make your pattern more filled in and more detailed here and make it look more busy. So I'm just going to stamp those in, just kind of filling every space in that I see here. Um, you don't really want there to be any spaces in between um, all the images that I have on the sheet here. So I'm just going to continue stamping all of these. I've done the same on every single panel of cardstock that we're using today. So they're all pretty much the same or with the same technique here. And like I mentioned before, they all take on different colors. So this red one kind of took on more of a yellowy tone, whereas the pink one kind of turned more white than all of the others. And the blue one kind of took on a light blue color. Um, so I think that's really interesting to kind of see which colors of cardstock takes it kind of differently. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see that. And maybe you guys want to use all different colors of cardstock here. I just used pink, dark red, and blue. You want to make sure that the colors are a little bit darker, too. You don't want to really use pastel colors, because then it won't really show up much. So now I'm just going to set this aside. You can always reuse this um, kind of felt um, if you want to do some stamping with bleach in the future. I think I'll probably just pull it out and maybe use it again in the future. 
So I'm just going to adhere this. I adhere them all on diagonals onto my card bases. These are all top folding card bases. And I'm just going to adhere them either on the top, bottom, or side um, of the card base. And then I'm also adding a black strip of cardstock to kind of finish the edge off there. And I'm just going to adhere that down. So I cut the cardstock at all different angles on the cards so that they would all sit differently. Um, I really don't like when all my cards look the same when I make like a little batch of them. So I like how these look all different because they're all on all different sides of the card bases. Now you'll notice some of there was like a little white gap on the side or something. I did cut that off after just to make the card a little bit smaller as well. So now I'm using some lipstick red Simon Says Stamp ink, and I'm going to be stamping a little heart down um, from the stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I thought that it was missing something, so I'm just using a strap, um, a scrap of cardstock here, and I'm going to be stamping these little hearts down onto there. Um, so I'm just stamping all three of them down. I don't have like a heart punch or a heart die yet, but I know Simon Says Stamp has a great heart die with a lot of different shapes in it. Um, but I'm just stamping these down today. I'm going to fussy cut them out and kind of apply some ink to the edges as well so that they're not plain white. So there we go. Now I've added some foam tape onto the back of there and I'm going to just adhere that onto the strip right after the sentiment um, so that that can be popped up onto my card and it adds a little bit more detail to the card. So I'm just doing that on all three of them. They all kind of um, are on a space on the banner. Then I'm going to be adding some Wink of Stella onto there. Just um, some clear Wink of Stella shimmer pen. This just makes it really nice and shiny and adds another little shimmery touch to the card. So I'm just adding that to all three of the different hearts on my cards. This just adds a nice shine because we're going to be adding some glossy accents next. And um, when I add these glossy accents, I think that it really brings out the Wink of Stella shine so that, you know, when you turn it into the light, it's really nice and glossy and it's also kind of shiny as well, which I think is really awesome. And that Wink of Stella really, um, the glossy accents really brings out the Wink of Stella as well. So I also added some Wink of Stella into the backgrounds that we created with our stamping. I thought that that would just add a little bit more because um, there wasn't much embellishment onto this card and I really can't leave a clean and simple card alone. Um, I don't know, it looks a little bit too plain for me. So I added some Wink of Stella into those backgrounds that we used for stamping as well. I also, on the white edges, um, I rounded the corners on here to make it look a little bit better and a little bit more finished off as well. So I'm just using the half inch corner chomper. So that basically wraps it up for this card video today. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about stamping with bleach. I know I did. I never really realized you can um, stamp with those lined images from different brands. But I love these images from Lawn Fawn, so I decided to use them, and I think they look great on these cards, um, and it was a lot of fun to create. So I hope you guys will try this technique out at home. Um, it's a lot of fun to use, and you can basically just use any brand of bleach and any stamps that you guys have. I think it would be a lot of fun to try different backgrounds and different colors of cardstock with this technique. So thanks so much for stopping by. It's really appreciated every time you guys watch one of my videos. I love it, and if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be really appreciated. Also, all the products that I used today will be listed and linked down below or over at my blog where there will be much more information about this card and many others. There will be much more still photos as well at Inclips.com. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys on Monday.